How's it going everyone? Brandon from the Mangame Guys back with another Let's Read Tower of God video. In the last time it was chapter 49, this time it's chapter 50, we made it to 50 chapters of Tower of God and it was actually kind of a badass ending the last time and Dorsey showed up the last minute and it looks like she's gonna challenge Quant and I know if Quant was at full peril, oh Quant, shit, Quint. I know if Quint was at full power, he probably would be able to beat her easily. But since he can't use all his Shinsu, maybe this will be a close fight. So let's see. Well, I knew things would turn out this way. This is in Dorsey with her new stolen, new acquired weapon. Never really believed that things would end happily. Well, that's life sometimes. Missing Dorsey. And this lizard guy's like, y you, Timmy. And they're all beat up. But Hoge is there, dead. What What are you saying? And he rips Serena's thing off. Let's take out that mouth of you. Let's take that out of your mouth. Well, I just read that totally wrong. Where were you the whole time, you bitch? Where are the other fishermen? Uh, she kind of fucked them up. You bitch. I love that. That's funny. Other fishermen, I ate them all. Interesting choice of words there, and Dorsey ate them. She definitely finished them off. What? I ate them all so that I could go to the next round. Well, I didn't literally eat them. I just hurt them badly enough to keep them from taking the next test. You did you. Yes, the whole idea was to eliminate all the other fishermen. In other words, I betrayed you. Team B for betrayal. You damned are you. And, oh, I thought she was going to, like, slap her to the side. She cut her rope off. And, oh, shit, Serena slapped her in the face. Was not expecting that. I thought Endorsey was going to say, like, maybe now that my position is secure, you know, let's team up. Let's try to beat this ranker. But Serena slapped her. Is she going to be okay? Is she going to kill her for that? Why did you come back? Don't... You see what happened here because of the tag. Because of you, the tag were gone. I think it's supposed to be was gone. Don't you think we have to pass this test first? Well, that's in Dorsey saying that. Don't you think we have to pass this the test first, or should we just let them die? Rachel, what's wrong with Rachel? I thought she was just like kind of in shock and like passed out. You traitor, don't get all cocky acting like you're a problem solver. I was never cocky. <laughs> she's smiling like that because she knows she's getting to her. <laughs> you kept that. She tried to slap her again. You keep that. Stop vandalizing a cultural asset. <laughs> Stop vandalizing a cultural asset of the tower. I'm not sure if she's talking about herself or the sword, and that's why that's hilarious. Because if she's referring to herself as a cultural asset, she's a little big headed. <laughs> Think wisely, if we hesitate, they all die. Quint's not gonna kill anyone. But I think she's talking about the people that could be saved if they got medical attention if this game was over. An interesting choice not to have both their faces there. Kind of creepy, actually. I guess just trying to show like the seriousness in her words. Like this is what she actually means, 100%. She's looking at bomb. Oh, so I'm not sure if that was blood on his face before, or if that was like aftermarks of crying. But I think it was blood. You said you didn't understand why Rachel is chasing after the stars, right? I don't understand either. But bomb, I also don't get why you're following her. What do you like about that girl? But... And I know it sounds weird right now, but there is someone I wish to go up the tower with. As in Dorsey saying that, but I know it sounds weird right now, but there is someone I wish to go up the tower with. I was not expecting that. Is she talking about him? Well, I'm not very close with her. Oh no, it's a girl. With her, actually. Well, actually, we don't get along at all. But I feel like she should have a chance. Um, it's hard to explain. The 
only other person that I think that this could possibly be, if it's a character that we know, is like Anak. But that'd be crazy if she said that. Anyways, the, yeah, Anak! Because it showed her the next panel, so it definitely has to be her. That's so crazy! And she's getting the princess treatment right here. Ma. Shibisu. Ma. Oh ho! Ho ho, my daughter is so pretty. Dude, that's so creepy. That's so creepy. I'm never not gonna be okay with that. And that girl kind of, Zelda's kind of feeling like her mom right now. Anyway, there's someone. Any, yeah, it definitely has to be a knock, but she. Anyway, there's someone. So I ate all the fishermen. They were a bit troublesome. And I guess this is like symbolic of when she was um, a young, younger and when she first became a princess of Jihad, when she was literally eating the competition. Um, people told me a couple of chapters back that uh, when she was sitting at the table and there was no one around her, it was implied that she killed them all. I never saw that. But I guess this is maybe like a flashback to that, like her brutality. Yikes. They were troublesome. Besides, that is the only way I know to just literally eat the competition or just destroy them. So then I guess she kind of held back for this game then. That's a pretty sick panel, oh my god. I'm not expecting you to understand me and it doesn't change the fact that I'm evil. Yeah, her, those yellow eyes are looking a little scarier every uh, every chapter, now that we're finding mo out more and more about her. But I, but I just did what my heart told me. It's all the same, we just desire different things. That is a nice little panels right there with Serena and Rachel and Ho that really like impacted me different things and it shows like each one of them Rachel wanted to see the stars Ho wanted power I guess Serena kind of wanted power too like Ho and Serena's kind of but I feel like Ho was more like of a justified reason because everyone Ho knew got killed with Serena I think her friend got killed but she was more taken in by the fact that someone had this much power that she could have it and she wanted it for a selfish reason. I think Ho was more for like a sentimental reason. So you follow your heart too and she's just going to Quinn and he's just kind of sitting there just listening to all this seeing how things are playing out. If you beat the ranker here you and Rachel can continue up the tower but you'll suffer like you did today again in the future. But if you betray your team and help the ranker, you can leave. If you betray your team and help the ranker, you can leave this tower with Rachel. But her dream will be forfeited. I actually didn't think about that. That if they leave the tower and they're together, Bomb is okay with that, but Rachel wouldn't be. So would Bomb do something like that in the future? To just be with Rachel? Would he just cut off Rachel's dream and like drag her down with him I never even thought about that well I feel like he wouldn't do that but he also really wants to be with her so I have no idea actually whatever you decide it's your choice he's thinking about it oh my god that's so crazy I'm guessing she just passed out from like exhaustion or like a stress Bomb on top of the tower. Bomb on the top of the tower. There are what's called the sky and stars. Ooh. Probably not, but one day I will get there. I will. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be a real flashback, which is a glimpse. A princess of jihad. It's my first time fighting one of you. Be honored. <laughs> oh my God, I love her personality. Later on, you won't be able to look me in the eyes. <laughs> so cocky. So the badge. Here. And yours. So uh, they've mentioned badges a couple times in this. Like when we got that little snippet of something with uh, Princess Yuri and uh, Evan and like the other 
interesting people when they were trying to get back down to level two, where they are to get the Black March back. Um, the big guy mentioned like a Tree Oak badge, and I'm pretty sure there have been other mentions of badges, so I guess that's something you get when you go up the tower more. It's like a sign of like uh, experience and power, I'm guessing. I don't know if they mean anything else. So the badge here, and you're, so she has a badge, and... Oh, are they talking about the, the tag? Am I stupid? Are they just talking about the, the tag? He's here, and yours, here. Yeah, okay, well, I think they're actually just talking about the, uh, the tag for this game. I think I took that way out of context. Here, it... Yo, she did not waste any time here. It did she touch it? It looked like she just like touched it and went by. But maybe not. Her sword is on fire too. Or it's Shinsu, whatever it's emitting. So she, I don't want to say she speed blitzed him, but she got behind him real fast. And she used that sword attack. Oh. What would she have done if she didn't pick up that guy's sword, Hong? I think his name is Hong. All business. That's what that face is right there. No emotion whatsoever. Thinking of it, Rachel was always looking at the... Always looking to the stars. Oh, shit. In that endless darkness, she looked so bright. Bomb with the long hair looks so trippy. It, maybe it's because she saw stars wherever she was. Bomb is looking at her the same way, pretty much. When people lose things they cherish, they lose their reason to live. And in Dorsey looking fierce. An igniting weapon. You brought a rough toy. How can he be alright after that attack? You have a tough body. Yeah, because yeah, he took that he took that attack. It looked like head on, because she was right behind him. Yeah, he was right behind him. And then I don't know if he got away from that or not. I mean I guess maybe his body was just really durable. But Rachel was always looking at the stars. I just want to talk about this for a second. She looks so bright, maybe it's because she saw the stars wherever she was. So maybe, just a theory right here, maybe, I don't, I don't, still don't know where Rachel and Bomb were. I don't know if we're ever going to find out, like, where they were in a cave somewhere underground. But it's clear it's somewhere they couldn't see the stars. So maybe Rachel wasn't born there. Maybe she was born outside the tower or somewhere. I don't even know if they're in the tower right now, like, in the underground scene. I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, under the tower. But maybe Rachel was born in the outside world and she was able to see the stars. And then she somehow ended up in there. So she already had seen them, and she wants to see them once again. Because that's what it's kind of making me feel like, is Bomb saying, maybe it's because she saw stars wherever she went. And then, it goes right to this. The very next thing that's said is, when people lose the things they cherish, they, have, they lose their reason to live. So how could Rachel cherish something if she's never seen it before? So this is leading me to believe that she already has seen the stars once before in her life, or maybe she was born on the outside and then somehow ended up underground, I'm not sure. But it's interesting how the author put those two those two uh, phrases right after each other. Then we got Dorsey, so yep, he's a ranker. I don't have to be easy on you at this lever easy on you at this lever. How can you be easy when your life's in danger? So is yours. Don't cry after I hit you. So she's got her little inventory thing out. Why are they standing so close to each other? Or is he behind her? Hit you, princess. Okay, so that, that was, they're both kind of relaxed right here. And then she swings at him, but he got in front of her. And I don't know if he hit the sword away with his hand, or it looks like he's going in for a strike. It looks like they're both about to just like hit each other at the same time. What's gonna happen? That's Ho. 
Why'd they show us a panel of her? Bum. What? Ho is on the ground. They're both about to hit each other, and did Ho... I don't want to say Ho got in the middle, but they're showing us a panel of Ho. Why? And then Bomb gets up, and he says, Hold on, Ho. Okay, I thought she was... I just said she, and I thought Ho was dead. Alright, I see what's happening. They're both going to hit each other, and Bomb saying, Hold on, Ho. I'm going to end this so I can get some help for you. Hold on, Ho. Wow, I thought Ho was really going to be dead, but I guess not. That doesn't bother me, I just thought, I just didn't think of the possibility that he was going to live. Hold on, ho. Oh, Bomb gets up and they do, do the to be continued. Oh, that's, oh, that's a sucky place to put it, but I understand why. Okay. So, interesting chapter. We got a lot more, I feel like there's a lot more information in there than is um, actually said. Like, if you look deeper, like, in what I was saying, like, with the, the panels saying that, Rachel has possibly already seen the stars before. I just hope we'll get like a full fleshed out flashback of how Bob and Rachel met each other. Maybe a little bit of the backstory of the place of wherever they were before. I mean, I get the feeling that we're not going to see it, but I could hope, right? Because that would be nice. Because I feel like it would help us understand their characters a lot more if we got something that just said, okay, this is where they came from, this is how they met, and maybe this is how they became friends. Like, I, it would just be nice to know. Especially since they're our main characters. Well, at least Bomb is the main character. Rachel feels like one too, though. Um, besides that, I think at the end there, with Bomb saying, hold on, Ho, we got the thing, the uh, confirmation that Ho is still alive, not dead yet. And Bomb is gonna do something. He's smiling. like So that means he figured something out or thought about something to help Ho. And in my mind, I think that means he's gonna end this game right now. He's gonna either team up with Endorsey, or pull some crazy wave controller Kamehameha shit, and I don't know what he's going to do. I don't think he's going to do that, but he seems pretty confident that he has an idea, so I'm excited to see what he's talking about. And, um, we got some real stuff from Endorsey, really, really hammering in the fact that she has been through some tough shit, and she is not afraid to step on people and to destroy them completely to get what she wants. But it's really interesting how she's saying that her dream now is she wants to go up the tower with somebody, and it was very heavily implied that that someone is a knock in this chapter, and they've had a lot of beef. I know they are sis they're not actual sisters. They have the same quote unquote father, adopted father, and were raised in similar manners. I don't know if a knock went through the same princess. No, Anak was like a fake outcast princess, so. I'm not sure. But, so I don't think they were raised the same way, but they do have a connection with uh, them both being Jihad's. Even if Anak was through her mom. Um, so it's really interesting why, I wonder if they're going to go into that, why Dorsey all of a sudden wants to go up the tower with Anak. Because that was definitely, if there were hints before, I did not see them about that. Um, besides that, I don't really have much else to say. Props to Serena for standing up to Endorsey. That took some balls. I would be fucking terrified to do that. But uh, other than that, yeah, I think um, that's all I have to say for this chapter. Like the video if you did. Leave a comment down below what you think Bomb was going to do next chapter when you saw the end of this chapter. Do you think he was going to end this by himself? Do you think he was going to help Endorsey? Do you think he was going to just like say something to stop everybody? Let me know what you thought Bomb was going to do when you saw the end of this chapter. And uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content, and always let me know how I can improve these videos because I want to make them as best as I can for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.